Ladies and gentlemen, what's up? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Today we're doing a bit of a teardown on this system. It is an IBM System X3650 uh, M3. Don't really get too much opportunities to tear down tech like this without having a quick little video about it. Open it up, press down, pull back, and see all the awesome stuff inside. Okay, so of course we got the fans. Yeah, a silly bracket to remove somehow. The RAM under here, CPU here, RAM here. Um, looks like that's a battery. And, huh, this must be an array card. Interesting, the RAID array. Yeah, yeah, RAID array for the hard drives. Check out these hard drives. They're keyweight a very particular way, so you can only get into them if you were supposed to basically. Let's see if I can figure out how to unclip these things. Okay, so it turns out it just slips off from the bottom. And here you get your qubits. Not sure how to install it or uninstall that one, but that is your fiber and your copper. Wireless. Wireless. Uh, and then this comes off by Picking it straight up. Picking it straight up. Oh, we got a mask piece in here. Love the way this looks. Look at that beautiful stuff. So of course you got the RAM. So it's virtually useless now. Oh, I just love the feeling of popping the RAM up. It feels so nice. <clears throat> yes. Look at all that beautiful RAM. She's beautiful. You see all the, all of it has uh, IBM cards on it. It's interesting. We got 8 gigs and then 4 gigs and 8 gigs and then 4 gigs and then... Man. That's interesting. That is interesting. So this right here will be the adapter cart to make all of these hard drives function as one. Oh, looks like you pull that clip back and then maybe no, I'm not doing that correctly. I'm definitely not doing that correctly. In the meantime, let's pop some more RAM. Oh yeah. Ah, it's just something with that feeling of RAM and the notches are see-through over here. It's interesting. I haven't seen that before. I have not seen that before. Clear notches. Usually if you have clear plastic, it doesn't hold up or last quite as nicely as the regular RAM. Now this RAM, once again, is pretty much worthless, but I think I got an art project actually that uh, I could use these in. We will see. We will soon see. Then of course, we had the CPU over here. Pop that. Pop the heat sink. I'm kind of surprised the heat sink is so small. I guess in I know many computers that have bigger heat sinks than that, but perhaps uh, the thing that you're supposed to be worried about is the fans, right? All right, let's scrape some goo off and see what is on the inside of these. It is an Intel. Oh man, this thing's almost 10 years old. No wonder it's so worthless. It's an Intel chip and Xeon. That's what I'm talking about, Bobby. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's see how I can get this. There we go. I bet I can use that elsewhere. <laughs> one port to four port? Yeah. I bet I can find a use for that one. It's funny. It's funny. This is the kind of thing that some days I absolutely need. Just a... Uh, I wonder if I could use this in just any old computer that needed another network port. I might just keep that around just in case that's the case. Of course, every system has your standard uh, RS2032 for the BIOS. Oh, I just wiped the BIOS there. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm going to get beaten. Oh, check this out, too. Check this out in the back. You just press, you just press a button. And it... Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Mmm. 
That's the sexy stuff. I tell you what, Bobby. Yeah. And let's see what's next. Wow. You see those things just pop out? That's what I'm talking about. So nice. Okay, so the hard drives. I want to get this. See if I can get this card out. But I don't think that I can. It's a trap, Bobby. I wonder. Oh, I'm just supposed to pick it up and then out. Okay. Of course, once again, making my uh, stuff more difficult than I have to. Interesting. Interesting. And that's about uh, the most of it. That's about the most of it. Um, yeah. There you go. There is a teardown of this unit. I love to take apart servers. There's not as much to it as I thought there would be. It's not quite as interesting as I thought it would be. Thought it was going to be just a little bit more interesting. Am I putting this in right? It must be. Yeah. Anyways, that's it for me today, folks. Thanks for joining me on this adventure in Tear Down Fun Time. I'm be doing that wrong. Tear Down Fun Time. Yeah. Like, subscribe if you like this stuff. Always appreciate it. And as always, have a good one, folks. Take care of each other.